Health Corps, it was really exciting because I got to participate in global health as a non-traditional leader myself. When I joined GHC, I knew my life would change completely. Uh, just the agenda or the vision of GHC drove me to, towards it. it. Was that one place that gave me an opportunity and a chance to create the impact that I wanted. The GHC Fellowship has been one of the most remarkable years of my life. So it's very critical that we invest in the young people of Africa, in Africa, and this is not a cliche. Um, it's a matter of fact, because we have the youngest population in the world. In Uganda particularly, we have over 100 plus alums, individuals who are working in senior leadership in different organizations in healthcare. Rising leaders are not only the leaders of today, but they also shape the leadership of the future. They provide a background, a solid foundation for the leadership aspirations that the world wants. We need to focus more on identifying young leaders or raising leaders that are focused on uh, communities that are formed within the hard to reach communities. Leadership really is the key differentiator when it comes to how projects move forward, the sustainability aspect and the uniqueness of the ideas that are flowing from the top down or that are sustained from the bottom up. And so the reason that we are so passionate about leadership is not just because we want to strategically position people and say that we have managers placed, but because we have an understanding that the combination of being mission driven, of having an understanding of leadership design, whether it is authentic leadership as an individual or collective leadership in terms of community collaboration, we have those components as part of the work that we do. People will come up with these solutions, but because they do not have the adequate leadership, these solutions will not be scalable, they will not be sustainable. When you build young leaders and train them having nice leadership um, within the um, hard to reach communities, you are actually addressing health issues within that community. COVID has been a really perfect example of the differentiators that come when you have leaders who are well informed and strategically aligned being the decision makers. In the COVID-19 period, we saw that the significance of having a leaders in global health. Countries where there was no uh, strong leadership, you'd find that resources were invested in, in the wrong or in the wrong sectors were, invest, uh, were channeled towards handling. The cohorts come in and participate for the 13 months, but beyond the 13 months, we have a thousand plus alumni who are participating in different areas of leadership, whether it is at the ministries of health in the different countries that we work in. It's really amazing to see the power of networks, how networks come together to be able to support each other and to, you know, to grow the leadership potential of the young people within the global health core community. You know, GHC is built in such a way that um, it brings you closer to so many people. And I love one thing about GHC, that you become family. The network is built in such a way that you're able to reach out to so many people. We have the community portal, we have WhatsApp groups. And for me, the network has worked for me in such a way that I can collaborate with so many people. I can achieve so much more because I know I have a supportive team behind me alums that recommended me to the fellowship, but alums that have continued to mentor my everyday work, from business to program work to the development world. So Global Health Corps brings together such a, a, brain, a, a big brain trust that we continuously, personally, continuously uh, tap into. And this is, this is a precious resource for me um, that I'm so glad that Global Health Corps has put together. Uh, during the pandemic, when life was a bit challenging, the community was very supportive in helping us navigate uh, mentally, socially, and even like uh, there were people, people came together to collect money to help those who are struggling financially. When I went to the GHC Fellowship Program, I met a number of people that I had never imagined in my life, as you can see, coming from a rural community like this. I was able to uh, link up with um, people that have been on the fellowship previously, that were part of the alumni community, and this brings with uh, a wide range of experience. The fellowship uh, helped me to recognize that access to healthcare is a human right, 
and it's everyone's responsibility to provide healthcare services irrespective of their um, academic background. Personally, I'm a computer engineer, but now I'm into the field of health. We are doing uh, sexual reproductive health. We have WASH programs for young people. We walk in the footsteps and in the paths of the individuals we seek to impact positively. And that is something I carried with me to my fellowship here in my placement in Jinja in the Bujagali community, where we had an opportunity to work very closely with expecting mothers and their children as we delivered the maternal health programming. GHC is creating a movement to change the story to change the gap in health and for this movement to become big and broad. So far we have one, over 1,000 leaders who are part of this movement. But imagine if we could reach out to more people. Imagine what the world will look like if more people are part of this movement. If we reach out to more places, more countries, what difference that would make.